What's going on guys? My name is Marcel Flores. Welcome to my YouTube channel, One Dapper Street. Welcome to another episode of the What I Wore This Week series. I've got seven outfits for you now, strongly leaning into the fall because the temperatures are definitely dropping. Today is also a special day because as you may know, I'm the creative director of ATOS, which is dropping two really dope new pieces today, our flannel shirt and our bomber jacket. So we're going to be styling those two pieces a couple of times today. And if you guys like it, check out the website and get on it. Obviously everything else that I can find other than vintage pieces, which we're including today, will be linked down below for you guys to shop. With that said, let's get started. Talk about outfit number one, which is what I'm wearing right now. We've got on my legs from Abercrombie and Fitch, a nice painter pant with actual paint specs all over them, relaxed fit. On my feet, the Bruno Mali sneakers. And then we're picking up on that brown of the laces in the sneakers with this t-shirt from H&M. On top, a vintage piece. This is a Pepsi Cola denim jacket. I don't know if it's Pepsi brand that actually made it, probably licensed out, but that's the only tag I could find in there. I got this recently with my boy Carl, who came up to me and said, I've got this appointment at this super dope thrift store. Vintage by the pound, deep in Queens. Can't look it up on Google Maps. Really dope, and I found some nice pieces. Uh, one of them is this here. You'll see at least one more later on. But then to finish the look off, we've got a cap from Les Deux, and it doesn't really need it, but if you wanted to, you could add this little tote bag in. We've got canvas, natural color, and then a little bit of that blue to pick up on the denim jacket blue, which I think just completes this outfit a little bit more. Definitely a casual, relaxed vibe with the looser fit, as well as the, the, you know, the paint specs all over the pants. Clearly not an office look, but I really like this as a casual fit to go about my day. Look number two, and we've already arrived at the brand new ATOS pieces. We've got the bomber jacket in a tan color, underneath the classic flannel shirt in a tan and brown pattern, underneath another ATOS piece, the tank top, just as the base layer. On my legs, we've got the Madewell jeans in a relaxed taper fit on my feet the Puma X Ami Paris sneakers, the white to pick up on the tank, and then those cream and tan notes to pick up on the rest of the outfit. Finish it off with a cap from Amazon. And what I love about this fit is how many different ways you could actually wear it. So you'll notice here that I'm wearing the flannel with the three lower buttons buttoned and then tucked in all around, leaving it open to kind of create a little bit higher waistline than you'd normally expect. But I think it makes this fairly essential basic look a little bit more interesting. The first adjustment that we can make because it is getting warm in here, standing in here with three layers, is we can take the jacket off and use the shoulder straps that we decided to put into the jacket so you can take it off while you're commuting or just generally if it gets a little too hot you don't have to worry about carrying your jacket and I honestly kind of think it looks cool to have a little jacket backpack. Now if this whole waist situation is looking just a little bit too stylized for you obviously you can go untuck it both the tank top and the flannel this would be another option to wear it or if you want to show off a little bit more of that layering unbutton the shirt entirely and just have it peek out underneath the bomber jacket. I can't tell you how excited I am to actually be launching these pieces. Please go check out the website. You'll see the other two colorways in just a second, but these are amazing and there's actually a deal going on on the ATOS website if you're shopping for either of those pieces right now. So go make sure that you check that out. Outfit number three and as pre-worn back in the ATOS bomber jacket. The first one was a size large. This is now a size medium, so fitting a bit more snug and we obviously have that black colorway to create an all achromatic outfit. Not entirely, because we have this little cap from Les Deux, which is a tiny bit of yellow, but I thought it was a nice little pop to make the rest of the outfit work. We've got another piece from ATOS here, the long sleeve in white. Then we've got on my legs from Mango Man, cropped jeans in a faded black. On my feet, the Greats sneakers in white, but also having that black element in the tongue as well as on the heel, just to repeat the entirety of what's happening here in this outfit. And you'll notice I'm not really wearing a whole lot of watches or rings. Frankly, I use those a lot more as styling tools in the summer when I have less to play with. Now we start having some fabric, some patterns, some layers, and that's why I tend to just keep it simpler sometimes, and sometimes I still go overboard a little bit. Same here as with the jacket that you saw before, we got the straps in to make this so much more wearable throughout, especially that like change of seasons, where sometimes you need that jacket and sometimes as soon as you step in the sun, you just wanna cool down a little bit. So I absolutely love that we added these into these jackets. Would love to know what you guys think. Leave your comments down below. I mean, I don't wanna, I don't wanna seem aggressive, but y'all should definitely go check out the website. Outfit number four, and this one's a bit more chill, a bit more straightforward, we've got from Koss, a pair of uh, darker to medium blue jeans and a slim straight fit. On my feet, the great sneakers one more time. Then we have the flannel and the other colorway. This time we have a darker blue as the base color, some navy, some white, some light grays in there in the pattern. Picking up on the light gray with the Amy Leon Dor gray cardigan up top and a 47 brand Yankees cap to finish that off. I do have a watch on my wrist this time, the Piaget Polo S that you see on me also often. Like I said, it's a fairly straightforward fit 
but I love that the flannel is so versatile. It can go very dressed up if you tuck it in and you play with the buttons, or you can wear it casually, even leaning a little bit more into the street style side, whether you size up or not. Really like this outfit, simple as it may be, it's definitely like put together in no short part because of the flannel shirt. Outfit number five and another piece from the vintage shop that I went to. We've got this iconic blue worker jacket. Underneath, I've got a simple gray hoodie from H&M that I actually tucked in. We'll talk about that in just a second. On my legs, we've got from Banana Republic, white straight chinos that are a little bit cropped. And then on my feet, we've got from Aloe Yoga. They actually came out with a sneaker that's super dope. Kind of reminds me of the Air Force Ones, but just a little bit cleaner in the aesthetic. And I like that gum sole, just add a little bit of color in there. To finish the look off, I've got from BDG, my crossbody back that I like wearing all so much. And now let's talk about this little styling choice here with the hoodie. Obviously you can just untuck the hoodie, wear it normally. But as you guys know, I always try pushing my boundaries and trying new things. And this is a little styling trick that I picked up from Everett Williams, another influencer. It's like, hey, you can tuck your hoodies. And I was like, I can tuck my hoodie. That sounds really fun. So I'm gonna do it. And I think it works really, really well for this outfit in particular. We've got that a little bit more relaxed feel to the entire outfit, very light base almost all white with that light gray up top here and then that blue as a real standout and these very authentic paint splashes and I think I paid like eight dollars for this jacket. Go thrifting! Saturday the second to last outfit and here we've got an almost monochrome situation going on. We've got as the base up here the ATOS tank top and I told you all this last week I'm gonna try and use tank tops as a styling tool well into the fall. Underneath this Abercrombie Shakar floral jacket, on my legs we've got from Todd Snyder a pair of double pleated pants that are high-waisted, the tank top is tucked in. Why I'm wearing this is because I went to the launch of Todd Snyder sneakers. These are on my feet right now, they're absolutely beautiful. You got that really bright white with the tan color, the medium brown, and the dark brown. A little bit chunky, but still pretty sleek, so you can wear it in something like this that is more dressed up. I finished it off with a new era in dark brown just to pick up on those dark brown accents in the sneakers. And that's the fit, like I said, a little bit monochromatic because the base color of the jacket matches the pants really well. And then we just have the contrasting white and dark brown to kind of make the look a little bit more complex. Sunday fun day. That's kind of becoming the model for me on this channel because Sundays tend to be the outfits where I'm playing around a little bit more. And uh, this is what we've got this week. We've got that same Oxford shirt from Untuck It that I showed you guys last week together with a Les Deux camo jacket, a very nice natural colorway. On my legs, we've got from a brand that I found stumbled upon oak and fort canadian company female run beautiful clothes very fair price point these pants were at 78 dollars high quality and the styling is amazing i chose to pair it with these alan edmonds penny loafers that i just very recently received this is so new for me oh wait one more thing I, i'm finishing it off with the you know washington market les deux cap i feel like okay this is it without it this is what that looks like and it works I just feel like I want to throw this in to make it a bit more street or just break the look. That's something I've been doing a whole lot is just breaking the aesthetic. It's nice to experiment and I really like this. I think the silhouette is, you know, when I posted a video a couple weeks ago, more 70s, you guys also were into it. So I think this might be just be a silhouette that I'm playing around with more. I love that this gives you the opportunity to play with more tailored pieces like the classic Oxford shirt in this case. Let me know what you guys think. I like this color combination. We got black, white, tan, black, and then a, a pop just a pop of yellow but I like this fit and with that we're done for today that's all seven outfits I am looking forward to hearing your guys thoughts comments questions down below as I said um, links are going to be in the description box for whatever is available and you definitely need to go check out the ATOS website before the things sell out it's happened before that would be tragic wouldn't it thank you guys for watching I'll see you soon with the next video until then as always stay dapper bye y'all